Welcome, my dear students, to a new week. In this week, we will start with chapter 22, what is a plant? When we talk about plant, we need to talk about and list the basic needs for the plants. What do they need to survive? To explain how plants adapt to the life on land, how there is a part of uh, types of plants can survive inside water or uh, underwater, and some types of plants can uh, survive in a harsh condition like uh, less amount of water, high temperature, or a large amount of water, extreme amount of water, high, uh, high or lower temperature in compared to other uh, environment. Also, to identify the features that define most plants' life cycle. First of all, what, what plants need to survive? What do they need? We all know that plants need basic major things, which is sunlight to perform photosynthesis, to produce oxygen that needed for life, and to produce the sugar, which is uh, glucose. This glucose C6H12O6 needed uh, in, the, in the plant life cycle to maintain or to obtain the, uh, the needs for energy. Uh, to be able to do that, she needs to collect water from the soil, she needs the sunlight and carbon dioxide from the atmosphere. So, first of all, we need sunlight, gas exchange, which is the changing of uh, oxygen and carbon dioxide, where uh, during the night, with the presence of the sunlight, uh, plants take carbon dioxide and convert, convert it into oxygen, whether at night the uh, the uh, equations uh, reverse where the oxygen will be required for the plants to survive carbon dioxide will be released and also uh, as we, as every living organisms need water and other minerals like nitrogen in the soil to be able to survive The history and evolution of a plant, modern land plants evolved uh, from water dwelling organisms means that the plants originally were uh, very simple organisms that need only a, a short stem to transfer the water from the surrounding soil into the plants itself. The first land plant, when we talk about the first land plant, we talk about the favorite plants, which is the uh, what, what's the minimum to survive, which is the resistance to dryness, the capability of conserving water, capability of reproducing without actually needing water. These, these things are the life on land plants that they need firstly to survive without being differentiated or specialized to other, uh, to other types of plants. When we talk about plant plant kingdom, we need to talk about the cladogram, where they're all plant ancestors coming from and what do they have in common. We talk about embryonic fermentation, true water conducting tissue, the type of seeds, the shape of seeds, and how do they what do they need to survive, and eventually the flowers, seeds, and how do these uh, flowers and seeds conduct to become a fruits, and what do they need uh, to, to become, and the shape types of the fruits on them. Now, also, uh, when we talk about the uh, plants, we need to talk about the types of the plants, the starting for the green algae, mosses and the relative types, ferns and the relative types, cones and relative types of plants. Uh, uh, finally, plant life cycle. Plant life cycle goes into two major types, haploids and diploid. As we talk in uh, meiosis and mitosis in humans and animals, we have the haploid type, which is half the number of the original uh, numbers of chromosomes and the diploid, which is the two uh, uh, double uh, types of uh, uh, chromosomes. Now, when we talk about the 2N or the diploid, then we are talking about the sporophytes. And when we're talking about the 1N, it's the gametophytes. So during this week, we will talk about the, the plant's life cycle from gametophytes to sporophytes and vice versa. Thank you.